Very often when people are looking for an idea of truth, and they try out a few ideas that seem to be okay, they accept more than they realise, and all they need to be convinced is the most mild of experiences. Experiences are directly affected by the belief you have about them. Many people in the New Age movement seem to have this problem. A person may look into the ideas of a certain practice and believe the practice is then true because when they tried it out, the desired effect took place. So a fully explainable psychological event considered evidential by the believer. The real problem is the nature of experience. In the right conditions, you can allow yourself to experience any number of different phenomena. The big mistake is to take those experiences and call them evidence. There is a simplistic process of psychological manipulation towards greater experiences by those who get interested in certain types of guided meditation. From the most basic beginnings of visualization to the eventual full-blown hallucination. Like a type of counterproductive psychotherapy, you manipulate the way in which you think towards a particular goal. Taking on ideas of the imagination as if they're more than they actually are. You eventually develop a trust in these ideas as they seem to be evidence for your belief. Over time, you can develop these visualizations to become more elaborate, more real, until you no longer need to try. Typically, a person who's curious will take on some ideas, try out a few practices, have a few experiences, work with the belief, and make it more real. Over time, their delusion grows, and they accept more and more unrealistic ideas. It may seem true, it may seem objective, that so many people share similar experiences. Yet this is down to a shared foundation, shared ideas, shared doctrine. You can have people who believe in the same sort of thing, but live on opposite sides of the planet. Due to their beliefs, they may express similar ideas. And just because they do, and they express these ideas in a similar way, does not mean there's some kind of base underlying truth, a foundation to spirituality. In many ways, one of the biggest problems is that people tend to remember things poorly. They remember the hits, they forget the misses. The problem with memory is that people tend to remember in a very poor way. They have a selective memory, and it's focused around their beliefs. They'll select out things that they think supports their belief, and ignore those things that don't. When it comes to classes, and teachers, and organisations, because of the nature of them, there's a greater level of conformity. And even if you develop a belief yourself, around ideas you've selected on your own, the problem still remains. In essence, you interpret what you experience through your current level of knowledge. Or by asking several people, you get several people's opinions. And today's shout out is for Hillbilly Jim Pones.